General Hospital Spalo for next week, July 10 to 14. It is predicted that Damon Montague will continue to commit evil deeds. Chances are Montague will give Sasha Gilmore a new prescription. Many predictions suggest that this single nest is related to the fact that Sasha is more likely to return to the evil past of the past. And the person behind this whole conspiracy is Gladys Corbin. Because Gladys doesn't want Sasha to regain her freedom and financial independence. If Sasha can continue to be guardians, Gladys will feel free to use Sasha money. So Gladys joined to find ways to prevent Sasha from returning to normal. Of course, with his full preparation, Gladys quickly succeeded. But at the same time, Sasha soon discovered Gladys' secret. That's when Sasha found out that the person who manipulated Dr. Montague was Gladys. Not only Sasha, but Cody Bell will also find this out. Cody was afraid that a person like Gladys would do more evil deeds against a defiant person like Gladys. So Cody had to act quickly. And Cody's plan is to expose all of Gladys' crime. Otherwise, things will only get worse. But there would be one person to stop, and that is Selena Wu. If Cody exposes the two, Selena will also be implicated, so Selena warns Cody to keep quiet, or she will have to receive a satisfactory ending. The Harrison Shay side also quickly caught a person trying to escape. This guy is said to have caused chaos in the Metro building. On the other hand, Spencer, Gazada, and Esme grew closer and closer. Even the two were caught by Jocelyn Jacks while and tweened best in the past. For someone as smart as Jocelyn, it was immediately obvious that Esme was trying to lure Spencer back to Esme. As a close friend of Trina Robinson, of course Jocelyn cannot be ignored. Jocelyn warns Esme to know what to do and not to cross the line. Soon after, Jocelyn also went to Trina to tell her all about what had just happened. This news greatly disappointed Trina. He spies Spencer's effort to explain that what Jocelyn and Trina were thinking were all a misunderstanding. As you know, there was a shooting at the Metro building. Dax Heller and Nina Reeves were both in the building at the time. What Nina was most worried about was whether Sonny Garendo was the one who was injured in the shooting. Dax would try to comfort Nina to calm down. Meanwhile, Michael Garrinto was on his way to bring Willow Tay back home. The two enjoy moments of joy and happiness together, and this pauses when Michael brings up the issue of Michael and Dex continuing to protect Sonny. Of course, Willow was not happy about this. Willow does not want Michael to join the crowd when he learned that Willow always wants to capture and monitor Sonny's every move. The relationship between Hamilton Finn and Elizabeth Webber has always been a matter of concern. The two of them will have a genuine conversation. It and Finn will present his thought of the relationship between Finn and Liz. Meanwhile, Liz mentioned that Cameron Webber is coming home and Liz intend to have a small party to welcome Cameron. There was an argument between Alyssa and Molly Lanson when Molly mentioned that Christina Carinto wanted to be a surrogate. And Molly is looking into these. And Alyssa always prevented it from happening, which Alyssa argues is too absurd. On the side of Lucy Cole and Felicia Scorpio Wilson find new clues in the dragon of Martin Gray. It turns out that Martin's secret is trying to help Tracy Quarterman carry out his evil plan. And this has to do with Lucy and the company of deception. Of course, Lucy was mentally ready to say goodbye to Martin. Isaiah Lucy wants to conform directly with Martin about the secret that Martin is doing is true or not.